Hello, my name is Fatima Nunes. I am from USP, the University of São Paulo, and we talk about the scientific data share the USP experience. Uh, we submitted two abstracts for this workshop, so we will talk about both. The first one is the USP repository, building process and the learning process. To build a repository, we have to make some decisions, such as choosing a platform, detailing the workflow, what's the policy for curation, and so on. And in our repository, uh, we have uh, a lot of questions, such as the heterogeneous public, because we have different areas at the USP, and our repository was a response to a demand for a strategy to publicize our uh, scientific data. Uh, the development steps or study we first study the state of the art, the, the art of uh, about the, the platforms, open source platforms. So we choose three open source, the most cited in literature, that were SICAM, uh, the space and the dataverse. And to uh, choose these platforms, we consider the economy, the largest scale use and also our previous experience and experience of the community. And after we customize and configure these three platforms, we conduct a pilot study and we realize that none of the platforms match all the needs uh, for our public because they are heterogeneous. So we decided to build a hybrid architecture to, to build our repository. This architecture has two layers. The first one uh, uses the space for effectively store the data and retrieve the data. And we built an interface uh, to aid the user to retrieve and store the data. This is the, the space that chooses to store the data. And this is the interface of our uh, system. Uh, the space was chosen uh, for the stor storage because it is flexible and you had the previous experience with this. And the interface layer is similar to other systems in use at USP, so it facilitates the acceptation for uh, to user, uh, make it possible a fast, uh, fast uh, store of their, uh, their data. Uh, we defined the four profiles for users, the author, the responsible, the management committee, and the library, uh, which one with specific tasks during, during a workflow, and we implemented this workflow. This is our workflow implemented in our systems, and uh, our final considerations about this is that the alignment of the scientific data repository architecture with a corporate platform was uh, allows us to have autonomy for evolving our work workflow. And this experience may be replicated by other institutions. And the second subject of us today is about our meta searches. Uh, which solution we built to solve the problem of interoperability for free platforms at USP. Our problem is that uh, there are a lot of solutions for scientific data management and there is a lack of interoperability. And these initiatives, uh, has, uh, we have a lot of them proposed as free solutions. So the development usually is not worried about interoperability. So uh, there is if, if a, a great effort, effort of the development teams to use metadata standards, such as Dublin Core and Maths, etc. And the users can choose how many and what metadata they want to use, even using these standards. So our motivation is that the USP is the biggest university in Brazil, and their numbers is really root. For example, we had 90,000 students and almost 6,000 faculty members, uh, besides the research teams that we have. And we have researches in all the areas. So there are uh, a big interval, big uh, diversity in the interests of the users. So 
This scenario makes difficult to group and define information when a general view is desirable, because uh, we had some teams, some research teams, building uh, their own repositories. So, what was our solution? Integrate search metadata from different free platforms. Uh, the steps were definition of which platforms Uh, should be indexed, definition of metadata uh, as standard, uh, mandatory and also optional, definition and implementation of a uh, infrastructure, uh, a custom customization of interface, and uh, after we built a syntactic parser implementation to allow to, to execute the data harvest routine definition. So, uh, we did an evaluation and make this meta search available for users. Uh, as a result, the meta search is able to read any repository among these predefined uh, different attributes such as keywords, subjects can be used to retrieve information. This is the interface, this is the Uh, screen used to, to make a search and this is a result of a record in the interface. And we concluded that our solution contributes so that the intra and extra university repositories have visibility from a single point. And the main advantage of the meta search is the platform dependence. So we have freedom for researchers and institutions to choose the most convenient platform. Thank you for our attention. This is our emails. Uh, we are available for you.